It's not been the best Champions League campaign, has it, for the Italian contingent? Uh, Atalanta in trouble, aren't they? Going into the second leg of Alavedas against Real Madrid. Real Madrid with a 1 0 lead going into this clash this week. They are 72 on Atalanta, uh, 5 2 outsiders. Um, normally you look at this game and think, well, no chance for Atalanta, but we know Real Madrid far from their best. They're playing in an empty stadium. Uh, if you're at Atalanta, you would certainly not write yourselves off yet. No, you wouldn't at all. And look, I mean, if you just watched, uh, watched Real Madrid this weekend, uh, winning 2-1, needing late heroics again from, from uh, Karim Benzema, uh, this is a team that, that looks worn down. Uh, it's a team that does have Sergio Ramos and Eden Hazard back, but they're just back from injury. You know, they're obviously not going to be 100% match fit. Um, you certainly, you like your chances. Do you think the ingredients are all there? The key question for Atalanta is, how do you play this? Because... If you go out, we've, we've talked in the past about how Atalanta have changed a little bit. They still are extremely attacking, but they don't necessarily go out and, you know, try to go man for man all over the pitch and try to press the life out of you uh, all the time the way maybe they did uh, a year ago. Um, do you take that approach, given how devastating uh, Real Madrid can be on the counter uh, and how maybe you just grab a goal? Or do you kind of force Real Madrid, uh, to some degree, to come at you? And obviously you still need to score, um, but I, I think it's, it's, it's an interesting dilemma to go into. And, and I think this is a game where Gasparini can give them different looks. He can change personnel. Um, there's a variety of things he can do. Uh, and it'll just be really interesting to see how he approaches this. But I think Atalanta are very, very much uh, in this for the time being. Jürgen, quickly, how would you approach it? Well, I think um, Gab is totally right. I, I think, you know, Gasparini has... Uh, um, different approaches uh, at his disposal. I mean, he can sit back a little bit, maybe first half, and just keep it a nil-nil, and then develop a more kind of a high-pressure game that, that he loves to in the second half, and then look for his chances. I think they are uh, absolutely capable, actually, to turn this result around. Uh, I mean, they, they lost the, the first leg uh, just at the very, very end, and they played a, a very strong match with them. So there's a lot of respect for Atalanta from from the Real Madrid side as well. And players like Zapata or or Muriel or or Pessina, they can they can damage you in, in a split second. So they have nothing to lose going to Real Madrid and and uh, give them a real a real battle. So I would probably kind of sit back a little bit in the first half. I would not spend too much energy, but then second half I would go for it. One word, Matteo. Who goes through? Real Madrid. That's two. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.